Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the what if, if we operate centrifugal pump in series or in parallel, okay. So what will be the difference with respect to head and flow rate in both the cases that we are going to discuss in this video, okay. So let's start the video. So first of all, we will discuss that when the centrifugal pump is operating in a series, okay means two pump are operating in a series c here the pump a and pump b pump a and pump b are in series okay you can simply see here this is the inlet of the pump okay i just change the color see this is the inlet of the pump okay and the flow rate is q and let's assume that this flow rate is 30 cubic meter per hour right so now what is happening that this is the flow rate okay and now same flow rate is going into the another pump means pump b means your flow rate is constant okay your flow rate is constant but head is h1 right but the outlet of the pump a is the inlet of pump b okay so the flow rate is constant means the flow rate will be same but head is different that is h2 right so now what will happen here simply your flow rate will be constant or your flow rate will be same why because both pump are in series okay and when both pumps are in series so what will happen that the outlet of the pump a will become the inlet of the pump b i hope you are getting my point what i want to say okay but heads are different in pump A, the head is H1 and in pump B, head is H2. So, head will be additive. Head will be add. Just understand here, the total head will be H1 plus H2. Okay, if there will be more pump, then it will be add. Right? If you are operating two or more pumps in series, then the flow rate will be constant but head will be add that you could see in a multi-stage pumps right mainly in a uh, like in a boiler pump you could simply see okay now let's understand this with this graph okay and this picture is taken from the the engineering toolbox okay so you can also visit here to read more about it so simply if you see here the curve is between the head versus flow rate okay and this is your system curve right can you let me in the comments box what is the difference between the system curve and the performance curve please let me in the comments box if you know now simply see here if if you are operating only one pump means pump a then this is the condition okay means this will be your flow rate okay this will be your flow rate and this will be your head right but when you are operating two pumps in a series so simply see here so what will happen the flow rate will be constant you can simply see here okay flow rate is not changing but head will be add okay means h1 and h2 so it will become this one i hope you are getting my point h1 plus h2 right okay but if i talk about the practical scenario okay so if you see here in a system curve so what happens that normally what head we get that is 0.3 okay you can simply see here the 0.3 means if you will if you go with respect to pump performance curve okay so this is when you are operating two pumps in series right so your head should be this one okay when you will go horizontally here so this should be your head but practically you get this head okay at point three i hope you are getting my point what i want to say in a practical scenario okay in a ground level as simple as that right i hope you are getting my point what i want to say right now let's understand that why we use the centrifugal pumps in series so centrifugal pumps in series are used to overcome the larger system head loss then one pump that can handle okay means you are like for example only one pump you are using so there will be more head loss so what you are doing you are using here the multiple pump in a series so that the you 
can simply overcome the system head loss, right? Larger system head loss, you can say. Okay, that's fine. Now, I hope you are also getting that if you are operating your pump, okay, and practically, if you see the system curve, okay, this is your system curve. So, this will be the scenario when you will operate two pump in a series, okay, when your two pump will be run in a series, but if only one pump will be run, so this will be the scenario, okay. Now, let's move further. If you have any doubt till now, please let me in the comments box what is your doubt so that I could clear your doubt as soon as possible, okay. And also, please subscribe our YouTube channel and like this video so that I could get motivated to deliver more such content. And we always try to create some good content for you so that your knowledge could be enhanced, okay. And when I prepare the content for you, so my knowledge is also enhanced, okay. And you can also let me in the comments box which topics you want so that we could prepare that topic for our upcoming videos, okay. Now, there is one more scenario. If for two pumps, if the equal performance curves are there, okay, and those pumps are running in series so what will happen that simply the head if i talk about the head which are adding okay the head for the each pump means h1 and h2 let's understand like that so what will happen that it will be the head will be like whatever the head will be at point 3 let's suppose the head at the point 3 okay divided by 2 it will be the half of the head that will be at point 3 okay this is with respect to head now what will be the flow rate so the flow rate will be equal to q1 and q2 will be equal to q3 right means your flow rate will be this okay my line is not like straight so you can just understand that what i want to say right so this is the scenario when your performance curves is equal for the both pumps which are running in a series okay in that case this will be the scenario your head at the point three half of that will be your h1 and h2 right so okay that's fine okay so this is the scenario when you are operating pump in a series okay so for example the multi-stage multi stage centrifugal pump could you let me in the comments box why we do like that okay there are so many advantage to use the multi-stage centrifugal pump and one one example of multi-stage centrifugal pump is boiler feed pump boiler feed pump right so let's move ahead when centrifugal pump operating in a parallel okay so in the case of the parallel what happens that your head will be constant or head will be same okay but how okay we, i i will tell you that see here what you are doing here you are operating pump in a parallel okay it could be one pump or it could be more than one pump so now simply see here this is your pump a and this is your pump b here both pumps are parallel right now this is your header where flow rate was q okay now what you did you separate both okay so now what will happen that this is q1 and this will be q2 right because you have separated out okay fine now this pump will let's assume that now let's assume that this pump has a head h and this pump also had h okay now what will happen that there is q1 and there is also q1 when the head is constant but the flow rate is not constant so what will happen that the discharge header of the pump will be additive that will be q1 plus q2 and so on right in the case of the parallel okay when you are operating pump in a parallel right now again let's understand this with the graph so simply if you will see here this is your system curve Okay, when your pump is operating okay system that's why it is a system curve okay so when the single pump is operating so this is the your pump performance curve right and this is your flow rate and this is your head okay now because your pumps are operating in a parallel so what is happening that your head is constant 
right but fluorate is additive so this is q1 okay and see here what will happen this will be q because this is the total so your both q1 and q2 will be added and it will become q right this is the scenario when you are operating two pumps in a pair i hope you are getting my point what i want to say this q2 means means this point 2 means here okay this is the flow rate at the discharge header okay not the individual but the discharge header right okay but when your single pump is running so this will be your q means this q will be 1 this q will be 1 but here this will be 2 fine and head is h okay but in a practical scenario what will happen that this will not be your q your q will be this one somehow right and head is this one i hope you are getting my point what i want to say okay means in a practical scenario head is not that what we like see in a theoretical way but head is this okay so the combined head and the volume or the flow rate which we get that is this one at point 3 so i hope you understood my point what i want to tell you okay if you have again if you have any doubt please let me in the comments box we will discuss about it and we will solve the and i will try to solve your doubt as soon as possible okay now simply there are two pumps are running in parallel or in series if any one of the pump will stop due to any reason okay so simply your system call will be come to the point 1 okay in both the cases okay please understand this also please understand this what is the meaning of the series or parallel arrangement okay and please let me in the comments box in your industry wherever you are working where you are using the parallel flow or parallel arrangement or series arrangement okay same in the parallel arrangement if the performance curve is equal for both the one both the pump which are running so in that case also what will be the what will be your head the head that is h1 will be equal to h3 what is this h3 this point okay opposite to the series one okay and what will be your flow obviously the q1 and q2 will be q3 divided by 3 and q3 divided by 2 means it will be half which is if you see here the system curve okay because system curve is important okay but performance curve is also very important because from the performance curve you get the so many information about the like for example npss versus q efficiency versus q okay power versus q so performance curve has its own significance system curve has its own significance but when you are selecting the pump so the combination of performance curve and system curve should be encountered i hope you are getting my point what i want to say so whenever you are selecting the pump you must you must check it out the performance curve along with the system curve also you must avoid the unstable pump curves okay so that's all for the today's video if you learned something new from this video please like this video share this video with your friends and in a group and also subscribe our youtube channel okay so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you